Hi, I'm Roxy Lang. Welcome to Children's Church on this beautiful Sunday, Easter Resurrection Sunday, April 4th, 2021. What a beautiful, wonderful day it is today. The sun is just shining so bright and so nice. And I had to go to work today, but uh, the people that I saw, I told them, Happy Resurrection Sunday. Jesus is alive, alive, alive. Jesus is alive. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Day I will never forget. Jesus, my Savior, is coming today. Oh, what a wonderful day. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Day I will never forget. Jesus, my Savior, is coming today. Oh, what a wonderful day. Jesus is alive, resurrected from the dead. And we are so happy we are so filled with joy and excitement because our Jesus was risen from the dead so that we could live forever and ever and ever and receive all the blessings that the Lord wants us to have as his people so we are so happy and so excited it's wonderful to be a child of the risen Lord so I hope you had a wonderful day today and were able to go to church and celebrate our risen Lord. Often we have some special Easter songs. I remember them playing the trumpets at Easter time up in the um, high loft of the church, um, the second level of the church, um, the overhang. And that was always so fun to hear the, the choir singing in the back and the trumpets going. You knew it was Easter time because they sang some wonderful, wonderful Resurrection Sunday hymns and uh, songs. So what a wonderful day it is today and every day, a new day the Lord has given us to be alive and to live for him. Are you excited about today? Because Jesus died for your sins and you are risen again. And if you haven't received Jesus into your life, you can always do that any day, any time. The Lord wants to live inside your heart and be a part of your life. So say, Lord Jesus, I confess my sins. I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins and come into my heart. Come into my heart today. Into my heart, into my heart. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Into my heart to stay. The Lord wants to come in and stay forever and ever so that he can live with you and you can live with him forever in heaven. So what a wonderful day. It's so beautiful. So beautiful outside on this beautiful Resurrection Sunday. So let's say our prayers and uh, get into our songs for today. It's just, I just feel like singing because I'm so filled with the joy of the Lord because of what, if, what he has done for me. So Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for this Resurrection Sunday. We thank you for the beautiful sun. And the beautiful weather, Father God, it's just perfect, so perfect outside here. A perfect day you have given us to remember our Lord that died on the cross for our sins, that we can be forgiven and live forever with you in heaven. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for our sins. We thank you for taking that step for us, Father God, so that we could have life in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And our story today is going to be about Jesus' death and resurrection. We're going to read from a different book today and go through his de death and resurrection for the day he is alive, alive, alive. So the first song we'll sing is Alive, Alive. Our Jesus is alive. Alive, alive, our Jesus is alive, alive forevermore, alive, 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 our Jesus is alive, our Jesus is alive. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, our Jesus is alive, 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 sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Our Jesus is alive. Our Jesus is alive. And you can just sing that song over and over and over again because Jesus is alive. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Our Jesus is alive. Heavenly sunshine and the sun shines in heaven. The sun shines in the deepest, darkest places. 
when the light of Jesus shines, it shines throughout the world. And we want to be one of those who shine for him. When we invite Jesus into our lives, our lives should shine brightly for the Lord. And people around us should know that we live a different life than the rest of the world because our light, his light inside of us, should lead others to Christ. <clears throat> Heavenly sunshine, heavenly sunshine, hallelujah, Jesus is mine. Heavenly sunshine, heavenly sunshine, hallelujah, Jesus is mine. Heavenly sunshine, heavenly sunshine, hallelujah, Jesus is mine. One more time. Heavenly sunshine, heavenly sunshine, hallelujah. Jesus is mine, heavenly sunshine, heavenly sunshine, hallelujah, Jesus is mine. Is Jesus yours too? Did you invite Jesus into your heart today, Resurrection Sunday? What a wonderful day to invite Jesus into your heart and into your life, and you remember it forever and ever because it's Resurrection Sunday to invite Jesus into your heart. And you know what? Every day when you wake up, you say, Jesus you are in my heart. Come in. Let your light shine in, in and through me. Come into my heart today. I want you to forever stay. And Jesus just loves it when you desire him in your life and in your heart each and every day. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Day I will never forget. Jesus, my Savior, is coming today. Oh, what a wonderful day. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day, day I will never forget. Jesus, my Savior, is coming today. Oh, what a wonderful day. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is a day, this is a day that the Lord has made. And that is a Bible verse from Psalm 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made, and this is the day. Every single day is a new day to wake up and praise the Lord and sing, This is the day the Lord has made, and I will make the choice to rejoice and to be glad in it. Did you know that we all have a choice every day? We have a choice to either be happy and rejoice in the day the Lord has given us and be filled with joy or to be sad and uh, not rejoice about the day the Lord has given us. So we have that choice because if even things can go bad and they often do, we can say, I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to make a choice and rejoice in this day. And your day will go so much better when you choose to rejoice. I've had experience with that. And I know that if I let my spirit go the wrong way and decide to complain and be sad and mad and angry, the day goes bad, just like sad. And if I decide to rejoice, if I use the choice to rejoice, the day goes so much better. And if I can put that, find the joy of the Lord in my heart, because the joy of the Lord, the Bible says, is my strength. So we'll get into our story today, and our story... It's called Martha and Mary because Mary and Martha, Mary was the mother of Jesus. And there's also Mary Magdalene, uh, Jesus' friend, Mary and Martha and Lazarus. They were sisters and a brother. And then Martha was also a good friend of Jesus. So this is a story about Jesus' death and resurrection. And I showed the backside there. People of the Bible. And we've read through this little children's Bible before, but this is where we're going to get our story today. And hopefully you can see the picture there well in the sun. It's hard for me to see what you can see when it's so bright outside, but we love the wonderful, bright, beautiful sun. Mary and Martha, Jesus stood before the people. The judge asked the crowd, what should be done to Jesus? Kill him on the cross, they all shouted. The soldiers hurt Jesus. They whipped him and they spit in his face. They did all kinds of evil 
awful things to Jesus. Then they hung him on the cross. Mary, Martha, and Jesus' mother Mary loved Jesus. They stood by, weeping. Over Jesus' head, the soldiers hung a sign that said, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. His enemies made fun of him. If you are really the Son of God, then make a miracle by getting down from that cross. Jesus cried out to God, then his spirit left his body, and he died. After Jesus had died, his friends took his body off the cross. They wrapped him in clean clothes, and they laid him in a tomb of rock. Mary and Martha were terribly sad. Their beloved Jesus was gone. And there's that picture. After three days had passed, one, two, three. The women went to see the tomb. Suddenly there was a great earthquake. An angel from heaven rolled the great stone away from the tomb's opening. Then he sat on top of the stone, shining like lightning. The guards shook with fear. They didn't know what was going on. Then the angel spoke to Jesus' friends. Don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus. He isn't here. He has risen. The women could hardly believe their ears. Come and see for yourselves, the angel said to them. Mary, Martha, and Jesus' mother went into the tomb. Sure enough, Jesus was gone. All that remained in the place he had been was the clothes he was wrapped in. Go and tell his disciples that Jesus is risen from the dead, the angel said. You will see Jesus on the road. The women were overjoyed and ran to tell the disciples. Jesus met them along the way, so the angel promised, Rejoice! Rejoice in the Lord, he said. They worshiped Jesus. Then they hurried on. Turn. The disciples were gathered together, weeping and mourning Jesus' death. All of a sudden, Mary burst through the door. She told the man that Jesus had seen the Lord alive. She told the man that she had seen the Lord alive. The disciples were amazed. How could it be true? John and Peter raced to the tomb. When John arrived, he bent to look at the strips of cloth lying near the tomb. Peter went inside. Jesus was gone! John went into the tomb too and believed. Then Peter and John went and told the other disciples about what they had seen. One evening, the disciples were gathered together indoors. They were hiding from those that wanted to hurt them for having been friends with Jesus. To their sudden amazement, Jesus appeared. Peace be with you, he said to them. The disciples were overjoyed to see him. Jesus showed them his wounds, his spots where his nails were nail him kneeling in his hands to the cross and his feet. He was sending them into the world. He gave them a special message. Go out into the world to do my work, just like I taught you to do. Jesus gave the disciples the Holy Spirit. It would help them in the days to come. It was time for Jesus to return to heaven. So he led the disciples out of the city. There he told them, go and teach people everywhere that Jesus came to forgive them of their sins. He lifted his hands and blessed them. 
Then he was taken to heaven right before their eyes. They were amazed. As he disappeared in the clouds, the disciples worshipped. And that is the story of Jesus' death and resurrection on the cross. Jesus is alive, 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 alive forevermore. And Jesus can never, ever die again. He is raised from the dead, and he has risen us from the dead. And we choose to have him in our lives, to invite him into our lives, to invite him into our lives. And we are alive forevermore with Jesus too. Alive, alive. Jesus is alive. He is risen. He is alive. So thank you so much for listening. Please share and subscribe. Share with your brothers and sisters and friends and neighbors and relatives because everybody needs to know the love of Jesus and why he died for us, that our sins could be forgiven and we could live forevermore. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful day. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. And we'll have another day of Children's Church tomorrow.